clock in the window. <laughs> the one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> I do hope that dog. <laughs> the one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog is... Ivy had her first injection. She had some peanut butter. And now we're going to wait to make sure she doesn't have a reaction. So far, she seems to be okay. Good girl. That's a good girl. She's a nice cushy bed to lay on. <laughs> More on Ivy later. to death? Do you believe your forever people are out there? Do you love everybody? Do you come with free training? Ivy, do you like children? Yes, you love them.
everyone. These are Jack's Lab Rescue Dogs, as in J-A-X, from Pennsylvania. And Jack's Lab Rescue is partnering with Lake Erie Labrador Retriever Rescue to get these four sweet girls to safety. Uh, they were relinquished by their owner because they all have entropion. You can see their eyes look a little pink. So they all need eye surgery and the, the breeder did not want to uh, pay for that. So he relinquished them to rescue and they will be traveling home to Pennsylvania in the morning where they will get the medical care that they need and they will find their forever homes. They're lovely girls. She 
Thankfully, it's heartworm negative and Lyme disease negative, but as you can see, she has really bad skin. Her ears are bad, her butt, her tail, and even her tummy. And it looks like even on her teeth, you can see she's kind of chewed a little bit. But we're gonna get her all fixed up and get her a foster home. So if anybody is wanting to see more dogs like Bella, we almost weren't able to get her into foster. And thankfully, Humane Animal Rescue was able to partner with us until we can make arrangements for some long-term care for her. So we're really excited about that. So if you live in a 30 mile radius of Pittsburgh and you would like to foster, please reach out to us. If you'd like to volunteer and help us out in Western Pennsylvania, we can always use your help too with references, with adoption events, with meet and greets. If you have a friendly lab you'd like to have a Labrador escort, be a Labrador escort for us, you can do that. And even transportation. So this is Bella and stay tuned for more on Bella. Lake Erie Labrador Retriever Rescue here, and this is Bella. And Bella just got to her foster home, and she's checking out her foster brother, Alphonse. And we wanted to thank Humane Animal Rescue for partnering with us and letting us use one of their fosters for the past 10 days or so. And she just got spayed, and she's been getting baths, and she looks so much better. Her teeth are nice and clean. She's starting to get some hair back and she's just a really happy girl. So she's gonna spend some time in foster with us and also partner with the dog stop, go there for some doggy daycare and to meet some people. And hopefully in a few weeks, she will be ready for a forever home. So this is Bella and stay tuned for more on Bella. Sarah from Lake Erie Lab Rescue here with Ray who is coming into the rescue now so we just picked him up for transport he's a lovely black Labrador probably seven ish seven, eight. Um, he's definitely a velcro dog a wonderful example of the breed very sweet very eager to meet everyone never met a stranger and uh, so far very happy to be with us so look for more on Ray soon once we get him vetted and have a safe ride home, Ray. Hi everybody, Lake Erie Labrador Retriever Rescue with Ray. Ray is our blind lab who's waiting to see an eye specialist on April 27th. And as you can see, he doesn't let his sightlessness keep him down. He's learned the layout of this yard and away he goes. He's a great dog. <clears throat> and he's out here at the Akron Pet Expo and he'll be here till about 3.30 so if you want to meet this amazing dog who's available for adoption uh, make sure you come on out to Hardesty Park and we hope to see you and so does, so does Ray he just loves people thank you people dog you did a good boy
to see where we'll be. The Venango 10, then the Lone Star 7. Now, in the ear of the dog, come the 7 from heaven, plus 1. Eight lovely Labrador ladies seeking a new life as cherished companions, with the chore of birthing puppies left behind. Will they find happiness? What do you think? rescue here we want to introduce you to Kramer it's a good Friday for not just everybody but for Kramer too because we brought him up this morning from Morrow County um, he was a, a unclaimed stray he's a very nice dog um, sometimes in rescue you meet a dog and they're not 100% what you think they're gonna be when you go down there but we couldn't walk away from this boy he is so sweet he is a lab mix Come here, Kramer. Uh, we think he's probably mixed with Boxer, um, but he's definitely got some lab in him. Unfortunately, this poor guy is heartworm positive, so he'll be with us. Look at this face. Look at that face. He'll be with us for the next uh, 90 days while he undergoes treatment, plus a few extra days because he does need a dental. But he's a really, really great dog. He rode so well in the car.
Kramer. Kramer was an antique from about six weeks ago. He came from Morrow County Pound. He's a lab mix. Well, if you squint your eyes, he looks more labby than he really is, but uh, he has some boxer in him. Um, we've been prepping him for his heartworm treatment, and in the course of his assessment prior to the actual injection starting, we discovered that he has some serious health conditions, either started by or aggravated by the heartworm infection infestation. Um, his um, treatment would not be the normal kind. It's a kind that there's a less than 25% chance. Um, he's a senior. He's at risk for sudden death from heart failure, which is not an easy death. So Kramer is going to go across the bridge tonight. And he's had contraband, peanut butter, pizza, and an ice cream sandwich, and a Tootsie Roll. So, we'll see you on the other side, buddy. And on the ninth day, God looked down on his wide-eyed children and said they needed a companion. So God made a dog. God said, I need somebody to wake up and give kisses, pee on a tree, sleep all day, wake up again, give more kisses, and then stay up till midnight basking in the glow of the television set. So God made a dog. God said, I need somebody willing to sit, then stay, then roll over with no ego or complaint, dress in hats that they do not need and costumes that they do not understand. I need somebody who can break wind without a first thought or a second thought, who can chase tails, sniff crotches, fetch sticks, and lift spirits with a lick. Somebody, no matter what you didn't do or couldn't take or didn't win or couldn't make, will love you without judgment just the same. So God made a dog. God said I need somebody strong enough to pull sleds and find bombs, yet gentle enough to love babies and lead the blind. Somebody will spend all day on a couch with the resting head and supportive eyes to lift the spirits of a broken heart. So God made a dog. And had to be somebody who would remain patient and loyal even through loneliness. Somebody to care, cuddle, snuggle, and nuzzle, and cheer, and charm, and snore, and slobber, and eat the trash, 
and chase the squirrels. Somebody who would bring a family together with the selflessness of an open heart. Somebody who would bark, then pant, then reply with a rapid wag of tail when their best friend says, let's go for a ride in the car. So God made a dog. God said, I need somebody who would stand at your side when the world around you collapses. Somebody to lie next to you during the long nights of pain and sorrow when it hurts to move or talk or think or be. Somebody to stand guard, play games, snore for hours, and repeat as needed. Somebody to give you strength when you have none of your own. Somebody to fight when you have no fight left, to hold on to your soul as if it were your favorite toy, playing tug of war to keep you in this world. Somebody to be your companion and guide in this world and the next. Somebody to wait for you on the other side or stand guard in your absence until they can join you for eternity. So God made a dog.